The New Madrid Fault stretches across eight states, including Arkansas, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Mississippi, Missouri, Tennessee, and Alabama. This ancient fault line has been quiet for centuries, but given its history, it has been marked by powerful earthquakes, especially in the years 1811 and 1812. These earthquakes shook the whole continent. With experts and seismologists doing the studying of these earthquakes over the years, questions are rising. You know earthquakes are inevitable. They are a natural phenomenon. With the analysis of the seismic wave modeling, what are the chances of devastating earthquakes as the year unfolds? And what should we be expecting? Join us in this video as we share these threats of a great earthquake in the New Madrid Fault. Opposing threats of a great earthquake. Within the quiet plains of the central United States is the New Madrid Seismic Zone, which has a fault line that could unleash a massive earthquake, changing the face of the nation forever. As 2024 unfolds, seismologists are raising alarm bells about the potential for a significant earthquake to strike this historically active region. Unlike the more familiar fault lines along the coasts, the New Madrid Fault is not defined by a single fault line, but rather by a network of fault lines that crisscross the region, cutting through the heartland, that affects states like Missouri, Arkansas, Tennessee, and Kentucky. The last major series of quakes, occurring between 1811 and 1812, was so powerful they caused the Mississippi River to flow backward. Today, with a population of over 15 million in the region and critical infrastructure like pipelines and highways crisscrossing the landscape, the stakes are higher than ever. Is this impending disaster going to be worse than the Great San Francisco Earthquake? Keep watching to find out. Unlike more famous fault lines in California or the Pacific Northwest, the New Madrid Fault doesn't regularly produce small quakes to relieve tension. Instead, it silently builds up pressure over decades, leading to the possibility of a massive release that could catch the region off guard. Historical precedents add to these concerns. History has been a tool that has helped us, and we learn from it. The series of powerful earthquakes that struck in the previous years in this region caused widespread devastation and destruction of homes and infrastructure. It affected the region so badly, and this earthquake altered the course of the Mississippi River and produced tremors felt as far away as the East Coast. Today, the population in the region has grown significantly, and infrastructure is more complex, making the potential consequences of a major quake even more severe. Modern buildings in the Midwest are not as earthquake-resistant as those in more seismically active regions. Scientists are worried that the public's awareness and preparedness for such an event is alarmingly low, as experts increasingly concerned that the New Madrid seismic zone could produce a catastrophic event with far-reaching consequences. Seismologists and researchers have been closely studying the region, using cutting-edge technology to analyze the fault's behavior and assess the potential for future earthquakes. What they have uncovered is both fascinating and alarming. The New Madrid seismic zone is still very active and a significant earthquake is definitely coming. This slow buildup of tectonic stress mirrors the conditions that happened before the catastrophic earthquakes of 1811 and 1812, showing that the fault is once again preparing to release a significant amount of energy. Unlike earthquakes at plate boundaries, where movement is more frequent, intraplate quakes are rarer but can be much more destructive. The stress along these faults accumulates slowly, leading to infrequent but powerful seismic events. This makes predicting the exact timing of an earthquake difficult, but models now suggest that there is a significant chance of a major quake occurring in the New Madrid region within the next 40 to 50 years. 
Recent studies have expanded our understanding of the potential impact of such an earthquake. This shows that cities hundreds of miles away from the epicenter could experience significant shaking, leading to widespread damage across multiple states. The implications of these findings are quite alarming. Experts warn that a major earthquake in the New Madrid seismic zone could have devastating consequences for infrastructure, the economy, and human life in the region. Buildings, roads, bridges, and pipelines could be severely damaged, disrupting transportation, energy distribution, and access to essential services. The economic impact could be enormous, with recovery costs potentially reaching into the billions of dollars. In response to these findings, efforts are underway to improve preparedness and resilience in the region, like updating building codes, retrofitting critical infrastructure, and raising public awareness about the earthquake risk. But the challenge is significant, as the New Madrid region is not as well prepared for earthquakes as more seismically active areas like California. Now let's look at the beginning of the New Madrid zone, how the previous earthquakes happened, and how intense it was to get a better understanding of all these. You don't want to miss out on this part. Know the past, prepare for the future. The fascinating origins of the New Madrid Seismic Zone. The origins of the New Madrid Seismic Zone are traced back to the ancient Precambrian era, over thousands of years ago. During this time, the Earth's crust was still in its formative stages, and massive tectonic forces were at play, shaping the continents we know today. The New Madrid Seismic Zone is the result of a failed rift, known as the Real Foot Rift, where the North American continent once began to pull apart. In the Precambrian period, as tectonic plates shifted and collided, this region of the central U.S. experienced significant stretching and thinning of the crust. The rifting process was not fully completed, leaving behind a weakened and fractured section of the Earth's crust. This ancient rift system is now buried beneath layers of sediment, but it continues to influence seismic activity in the region. Unlike typical earthquakes that occur at the boundaries of tectonic plates, the New Madrid seismic zone is an example of an intraplate earthquake source. In the winter of 1811 and 1812, the central United States was rocked by a series of powerful earthquakes that has remained among the most intense in American history. In the New Madrid seismic zone, these quakes struck with a force that we could never have imagined, reshaping the landscape and leaving an unforgettable mark on the nation's history. The first of these quakes struck on December 16, 1811, with an estimated magnitude of 7.5 to 7.7. The ground shook violently in the town of New Madrid, Missouri, sending shock waves through the surrounding area. The quake was so powerful that it caused the Mississippi River to flow backward temporarily, creating massive waves that swamped boats and flooded nearby lands. People as far away as Washington, the District of Columbia, and Charleston, South Carolina, reported feeling the tremors and the effect of this earthquake. But the nightmare was far from being over. A second major quake struck again on January 23, 1812, followed by a third and even stronger event on February 7, 1812. This final quake, estimated to be around magnitude 7.7 .7 to 8.0, it created a massive uplift known as the Real Foot Lake in Tennessee. The earthquakes of 1811 and 1812 were felt over an area of more than a million square miles, from the Rocky Mountains to the eastern seaboard. The impact on local communities was devastating. Lands, homes were destroyed, and the few structures that existed in the region were heavily damaged, some completely wiped out. The quakes also disrupted trade and transportation along the Mississippi River, a critical artery for the young nation. The New Madrid Fault may be silent now, but history has shown it power to awaken with devastating force. If you build in a seismically active zone, build accordingly, following the example of the Japanese. In Japan, earthquakes are a fact of life, but to mitigate the risks, 
they've developed innovative construction techniques and materials that flex and absorb seismic forces. Their buildings are designed to sway, not collapse, during earthquakes. This approach has saved countless lives and reduced damage to infrastructure. New Madrid region has often been overlooked. As the science unfolds and our understanding is deepened, one thing is clear. The threat of a major earthquake in the New Madrid fault region is not a matter of speculation, but an impending reality. Whether it strikes sooner or next 40 years, the question remains whether we will be ready to face it. What are your thoughts on this? Drop it in the comments section below. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. Also, click on the next video shown on your screen. You will enjoy it.